Falls was amazing. We got up there, um, being Labor Day was a holiday, so all the locals were in such good spirits, cooking, playing games, doing all kinds of stuff. We make it in, and uh, as soon as we see the falls, it's just breathtaking. It's, it's such a long, tall wall of water. Lanzo gets under the cave and I didn't know how deep it was. It looked like he was pinned underwater. I was a little nervous at first, but when I saw his face come out all smiling, I knew that it was okay. He tried to get me in at first. I didn't want to go, but after a while I got under the water and I realized it was shallow and you could just duck under. And then um, we were in the cave laughing and having a good time with some of the locals. And Incredible bamboo. Unbelievable. Yeah, really nice. All right, yes, man. Okay. Here you go. One love. Oh, thank you. That's a big one. We're well, right outside of Reach Falls in Portland, Jamaica on the northeast coast and we made a little pit stop here on the side of the road and got some water jelly, some food and we're gonna have Naya who's the boss around here, chop a chop. He's gonna tell us what we got here. Tell us what we got, show us what we got here. We had Naya. the wild corn, we had the shrimp soup, the crayfish. Naya, you get pan jelly running? Yes. We had the crab, the Jamaican crab. Do you just put the sauce in the chicken or do you do something to the chicken so it soaks up the sauce? No, we, we just put it, it season it and just start and just rub, rub it down. We journeyed over to Bath because it was kind of on our way back to the area we were staying in St. Thomas. It's a stream that goes through but on one side of the stream, there's a natural spot of hot water that comes out of the earth at 130 degrees. It's amazing. And it's just on the border of being too hot. It's so hot. What kind of ailments they can cure? Would be skin rash, eczema, liver spots, sunburn, sinus, asthma, pain, swellings, poor blood circulation, yeah. all purpose. All yeah. it, is, it is good. You know? First thing you do is you go and get in the hot water, they kind of soak you down. Oh, okay. You lay down and they put water all over you, kind of stretch you out, loosen you up and kind of get the blood really flowing. Hot water is being poured all over me and it was hot. It was not, it wasn't warm, it was burning hot. You the healing bath, you know? Discover from 1609 by a runaway slave named Jacob Sebastian. So just come check out Bad Fountain. Uh, really felt dizzy, you know, not dizzy in a bad way, but uh, a little bit of overwhelm. And, uh, you know, it was just, it was kind of spiritual in a sense as, as well because there's so many people around and all this water is rushing over you and you're in this majestic place looking up the cliff and just green everywhere. So, um, you know, I was, I was overwhelmed, but at the same time I was humbled in a sense because, you know, I had, really had no say of what was going on. So I'm, I'm going with the flow and everything else. And it was just, um, it was, I was just kind of taken back and really, you know, put in the moment. <laughs> I'm actually a little dizzy. It's so hot and it's really, uh, you can feel everything coming up. We continued up, we went to the ranch, which is just a, an epic, epic spot. The clear river runs into the ocean. There's a really nice surf break there. A couple little cabinas and a bar. We actually met with the bartender and that was cool talking with him. You have a river and the sea and, and the whole the trees, a lot of trees, like a mountain over there, like I understand as people come in and look, you know, it's beautiful. And uh, one of the things he said was um, the best thing about that place was the food. So we're gonna have to go back and taste that. But <laughs>
We'll be right back. Stay tuned to Island Hoppers.